I just found a brand new AI tool that lets you access hundreds of tools all from one platform. You can use it to instantly create videos, create images, create websites, build AI agents, and even access every single LLM, whether it's one you typically have to pay for or one that's open source. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what that tool is that I'm talking about, how you can use it, a bunch of different features that it has, and I'm gonna give you several different use cases you could start to use it for today to automate your work and make your life easier. Now that new tool that I'm talking about is going to be the Route LLM API from Abacus AI. This allows you to access all the LLMs from one simple API. It gives you access to all the top open source models. It has the best pricing on the planet and it default routes to the best model based on a prompt. And if you scroll down, you'll be able to see all the different models that this allows you to actually access. By the way, here's how using Route LLM with APIs actually works. If we come over here, you'll see that you literally just sign up, you subscribe to Chat LLM, you instantly get your API key, and then you're gonna be able to access all of these different models all from one platform and it will automatically default to whichever one's the best for that specific prompt, which is incredibly powerful. In addition to that, it's going to give you access to chat LLM, which is a really easy to use interface. Let's say that you don't want to use the API and you don't need to use the API. Instead, you could just come over here and access the same exact thing. As we could see right here from this one platform, we could access GPT-5, GPT-5 Thinking, Claude 4, Claude Opus 4.1, Gemini 2.5 Pro, Grok 4, gives us access to a bunch of other GPTs. It gives us access to Quinn, gives us access to DeepSeek, and so many other different LLMs that we could access here. In addition to that, if we use Route LLM right here, this is actually going to allow us to use a bunch of different LLMs all at one time, because essentially what happens is Route LLM is going to automatically route your request to the best LLM. So if you ask something coding, it's going to give you the best LLM response for coding. If you ask something for creative writing, it will do the same exact thing. And the use cases here don't stop with this, because in addition to that, if we come over to tasks right here, you'll be able to see that you can schedule out new tasks the same way that you can on some of the platforms. Not every one of them lets you do this. For example, Claude doesn't let you actually schedule out tasks, but that doesn't matter because if we come in here into new task and we click on normal task right here, we could choose to use Claude in order to schedule out specific tasks. We could have it automatically code things. We could have it automatically create PowerPoints. We could have it automatically do a bunch of different things. And this is what is really powerful about Abacus AI. It takes all of the existing platforms right now, puts them all under one roof, and basically gives you access to a bunch of different features that you otherwise wouldn't have if you had individual access to all these different tools. And the pricing is pretty much unbeatable. So if we come back over here, I wanted to show you a bunch of other things that you'll be able to do with Abacus AI. For example, you can create videos. You can do lip sync. You can humanize text right here. You could generate documents. You can edit things. You could scrape URLs. You could upload a screenshot in this and get an analysis. You could get a video analysis. You can schedule out tasks like I just showed you before. You could do text to speech, speech to text, speech to speech. You could do deep research, build PowerPoints. You could even code or create images. And let's say that we came in here to create an image. You'll be able to see that you can choose literally between more than a dozen different image generation models. In addition to that, if we come over here and go to create a video, you're going to see the same exact thing. You instantly get access to all the different video models from one little interface. And here's how easy it is to use all the different LMs. For example, if we want to use Claude 4 Sonnet, you just come over here, tell what you want to do, and it actually goes through and does what you want. Or maybe you want to use GPT-5, you come over here, give it a task, and this will go through and complete whatever you actually want to get done. It doesn't matter what kind of LLM you want to use, you can come in here and you are going to get instant access to all of them because they all are good at different things. And if you don't know what LLM you should be using for what task, you could just keep Route LLM on and it is automatically going to redirect your task to the right LLM. And again, I want to emphasize, it's not only LLMs that you could do this with. Let's say that you wanted to create a video and you wanted to compare whether or not Kling V2.1 was better than VO3. You'd be able to do that because you can instantly come in here, select the model that you want to use, put in your prompt, use the same exact prompt twice, and it will go through and create both the images. Let's try it out. For example, I'm sure you've seen the viral video about the rabbit jumping on the trampoline. 
I'm going to recreate that with both Kling and with VO3. So I came in here and I asked Kling in order to do this. And then we're also going to open up another window over here. And I am going to get VO3 to do the same exact thing. And then we'll be able to compare those two things. Because if you're trying to use these different platforms for business or to actually generate things quickly, you want to be able to figure out as fast as possible what is actually going to be best. I apologize. I just prompted it to create an image. I just changed it and actually prompted it to make a video with VO3. So as we could see, this is going through. This is making a video with VO3. We have this model right here generating one cling. And we're going to be able to see which of the two models is actually the best when it comes to creating videos. So when comparing the two video generation models, one thing that I would call out straight off the bat is that VO3 is already done, and here's what it actually looks like. So we could see that that's hyper-realistic. The sound sounds great. And again, if we compare that to Kling over here, it's not even done creating. And VO3 is already done, already looks really good. The sound's really awesome. So if I need to make videos, I'd probably go with VO3. But again, I was able to figure that out incredibly easy with just one subscription. Okay, so now this Kling video is actually done. We can see that it's five seconds versus the VO3 video. That was eight seconds. And these rabbits don't look anywhere near as realistic. So let's actually check out what this looks like. And again, another thing to note here is there's actually no sound with this. The jumping looks way less realistic. There's no sound. These rabbits don't look anywhere near as good. So again, very quickly, we were able to figure out exactly what the best video model was. Now, before I get into all the other features and use cases that you can use this tool for, I wanted to remind you that you could go to the pinned comment below and get started with this tool today. It's going to give you access to Route LLM, to Chat LLM, to Code LLM, to Deep Agent, which basically allows you to access every single LLM, every AI model out there, and it allows you to build out AI agents without having to know how to code or do anything like that. You simply tell what you want to do and it goes off and actually does it. And again, you could get started with all this today for only $10 a month, which is an absolute no brainer. Now, the other really powerful tools that I wanted to show off here are going to be Code LLM, this app right here, and then also Deep Agent because these three are pretty incredible. So if we click on Code LLM right here, you'll see that this is going to be a code assistant. So if we come over here, I already have this downloaded on my computer. We could see that we can click on this. And then I have an AI code assistant right here that is incredibly helpful. As we can see right here, it does AI code completion. It does AI code edits. It does chat-based code edits. You could upload images, for example, a UI design, and we'll actually generate working code for that and so much more. This is incredibly useful if you need to code anything or you need to build anything. In addition to that, you could come over here into apps and you could have this actually create AI generated apps for you. For example, I created one for getting feedback on my YouTube videos. I created a GLP-1 tracker. I created one that does Google ads report creation. I did another one for a calorie tracking app. I did another one for a summer camp registration website and YouTube growth ideas. In fact, I've created so many different apps and it's literally as simple as just coming into create app right here, then telling us exactly what you want to create. In addition to that, we come over here to configure MCP. You'll see that you can add a bunch of MCP servers here. For example, I have the Zapier one, but then also you could get this to automatically spin up MCP. For example, let's say that we come over into Deep Agent. We're going to be able to automatically get this to access my Google Drive. I'm literally just going to come over here. And then come into Deep Agent. We could take this prompt right here that I use all the time, come over here, and we could put this in here. So, what this is going to do is this is going to find a JSON file in my Google Drive that has a specific name, and it's going to return back to me links from that that have over 25,000 views. So, the first thing we need to do is answer a few questions here. What should the format be? I'm going to say, I don't know. Just look for the name for today. I'm going to say over 25,000. I'm going to say table format. Now, what this is going to do is spin up all the APIs that it needs, all the MCPs that it needs to instantly get access to my Google Drive, go and find that file in there and run a report on that file and report back to me with exactly what it finds. And basically, this is going to tell me what's trending on Instagram without me ever having to go to Instagram. Now, while this is actually spinning this up, I wanted to come through here and show you a few other things that this can do. 
This can do data analysis. And in fact, it can connect to anything that you want. For example, you can connect it to your Shopify and automatically have it do data analysis. And you can even set that up as a task. So it happens every week or every day. So you get a report and it can ping you on Slack or it can email you the results. In addition to that, it also has access to browser use. So if you wanted to find cheap flights or you wanted it to summarize tweets, it can do that. It can create PowerPoints. It can do deep research. Again, MCP and AI workflows, you could literally have this spin up a sales outreach agent that will outreach to people based on different criteria within your business. Or you can create an RFP answer agent. Or you can create a Twitter profile AI chatbot or even create an AI influencer this that will automatically tweet, automatically reply to tweets, and Look at your competitors to see what they're doing differently. Again, you could have it build different AI apps like I showed you before. You could have it build out short videos and you could have it actually post those short videos to X or to pretty much anything that you want through MCP access. And like I showed you before, this can actually go through and build out pretty much any app or website that you want, literally by you just telling it in plain English exactly what you want. Now, we come back over here, we could check that this is now actually going through and this spun up Python code in order to parse that JSON and extract videos that actually fit the criteria. And then it's going to give me the answer that I need. Here's exactly what that looks like. If we open this up to be full screen, we could see that this went through and found 17 different videos that hit my criteria. And we could see exactly what the duration of them is, how many views they got, the link, how many likes they got, how many comments, who created it, and the caption. And again, this literally goes through, gives me notable insights, and tells me exactly what's trending in my niche without me having to go to Instagram. And this just automated this for me. In fact, it went through 11 of my different competitors in order to find this information. Now, the final use case that I wanted to show off here is if we come into Route LLM right here, and then we click on custom bots, we could see that if you create any type of AI agent or any type of bot, which you could do an AI engineer right here, is now they show up right here. For example, I have this testing catalog daily scraper app. What this does is I give it a blog and it will actually go through and scrape for all of the latest blog posts and then tell me exactly what they're about, give me a summary of them, and even turn them into a post that I can use for my school community, for my social media, or just for research to create videos like this. And I want you to go through your entire day your entire process. Think about all the different things that you could begin to schedule out, you could automate, or you could have AI make them way more efficient. And Abacus AI is able to do all those. Look at this. Literally, as I'm sitting here telling you this, this went through all of the recent blog posts. In fact, it found 10 of them. It's going through exactly what that content is. And then it's going to spit out for me down here what a summary is, because we could see it's going through, it fetched that content. It's now analyzing that content. And and then it is going to go through and actually create that summary and look at how much it's actually processing right here again in seconds while I sit here and talk to you or better yet you could have this scheduled out so that it happens while you sleep it happens while you're doing other things and you just come to work and check on all these different things instead of doing all of this work manually look at this I literally just got this report 10 different things the URL, summary, key updates, actionable insights, different use cases. And then at the end, gives me an overall analysis and trends. So I know everything that's going on in the AI space without me actually having to lift a finger. Now, if you like this video, I'd strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through exactly how you could start using this tool today in order to make money with AI. I'll see you over there.